Hello the channel, welcome back everyone. It's Friday night, so only calls for one thing. We've got a, a cold one in our hands. Hand, hand, hands, you can't have it in your hands. Um anyway, that's something completely different. Moving on. Um rewards night, midweek, Chelsea won eight now. Still scraped into the top fifty, conspired to pick the wrong Chelsea defender. Um, and a good result in the under twenty threes as well. And then it's mainly boxes. Now that we've fallen back in with Sora again, um, we can open the boxes again. I'm only kidding. The main reason we didn't have a rewards video on Tuesday was I was at Parkhead watching the famous Glasgow Celtic. So, anyways, we're on to the weekend game week already, but let's have a quick look at how it went midweek and then we can go from there. So, Celtic played great. I mean, um, probably would have been in the reckoning for some prizes if um kept a clean sheet. But, I mean, Leipzig looked okay, to be honest, but Celtic played very, very well, pressing really well, and did score from a corner, but, um yeah, Celtic deserved winners. So, with the 23rd in um, Super Rare, which obviously is not too much to write home about, Musiala, well, he, he played his, um, his place in that team, Real Madrid were <laughs> rotten. I um, can't believe it was going on with Mbappé, honestly. He's not even the French squad or anything, so totally like jinxed one of the most, like, um, the highest performer like across the last couple of seasons. A guy that was like humongous prices, like when he was under 23s. Nothing much else to write home about here. Nicholas Kuhn out performing um, Mbappé as well, and I wish I'd have put in Dizazi in my actual Chelsea team, so there we go, made a complete and utter arse of that, but at least I can recognise that, we can move on. So, best reward was under 23s, we've come down, so a lot of, had a lot of entries, so so yeah, Chelsea won 8 now. won is $20, it's, it's not bad, I mean, Badia Achille had um, a big chance missed at the end as well, so... There we go. Not quite as enjoyable as this Marge, I must admit. Oh, I tell you. Cold one on a Friday night. Unbelievable. So yeah, 58th, over 500. Look, Chelsea had the standout fixture. They won 8 nothing. Like, that's what it is. Um, not much more to say about that, to be honest. Um, other team had Chucharella, who looks like someone out of the Herbert bunch. Um... Nothing much else really sort of hit um, and stuck. Um, did have um, good sort of under 23 lineup, etc., which is here somewhere. Like, <laughs> I, I was using this wee thing earlier up the top left and it wasn't really working right. So there we go. So under 23's team's done okay. Um, Division 2, a really nice score here, but pretty much just promotion. So didn't actually pick up a card, but. Um, box with some essence etc in there too it's not really something I'm targeting the old super rare essence at the moment but if we do get enough actually on this we'll, we'll just craft make it a bit more fun you know just gamble try and get an Mbappé or whatever you know or a Bellingham and, and just be insanely disappointed <laughs> so, so it used to be like the top pools on the platform now but like, oh this guy's playing rubbish at the moment anyway um, 10th and um, Division 1, so Musiala, good performance. Jorgensen got a 92, I don't know how he managed that, watch the game and it was just like all Chelsea, but I guess he had a few sort of um, diving saves and easy saves. Never really looked in any danger of conceding, to be honest, and managed to get a 92. Um, Bernabeu has been really consistent. Valentin Gomez, claims off the line, and Luis Henrique, really good. Both Fogo were good. Almada played quite well there. Um, too. So not bad at all for a midweek and we've got tons of stuff coming up at the weekend. Um, just want to show you what else we've been doing just before we open the rewards. So apart from drinking beer and having insane large curries to try and steam out um, the current man flu that I've got. So um did pick up a couple of cards um, just to sort of move forward the sport and collection. So um, Trincao going with Gael Crez and... Um, and Pedro Goncalves and the rest of the, the troops there. I mean, the um, Angerin going, I don't know how that will obviously affect things. Probably all these guys just end up at Man United and be crap. But there we go. Federico Valverde, um, usually quite handy for international breaks and everything as well. And we've beefed up the Aston Villa collection. We look at the price of these guys, honestly. Like, 
you know, doing really well in the Champions League. Not expensive at all. Decided just to pick up these guys to go with um, the goalkeeper, Emmy Martinez. Joe Gauche comes in. Or, I don't know, that's probably just butchered his name. Um, but he's been playing for um, Australia as well. So that gives me some coverage for next week as well. So let's get these rewards opened. Let's get back to having fun and not like posting big threads and all that sort of stuff. So $20, better than nothing. Pays back like a Jao Felix or whatever, which is fine. Now, tier 3, um, rare as well, which should be decent. I mean, I guess one of the things with current format is that the lower tiers obviously are not like doing as well. So that's a story for another day, but um, we'll just take it as a bit of Friday night fun. We'll see who we get. we no complaining. No complaining whatsoever. You know me. You never do that. Franjo Ivanovic. Um, Galwas usually have some really good players, actually. So we'll claim the rest of the boxes. We'll have a wee look at Franjo and then we'll open the rest of them. So if we do get enough essence, we might do a super rare pull as well. So um, that could be fun until you see who you actually win. <laughs> It's true. Anyway, Franjo Ivanovic, so not a superstar, but USG, I mean, pretty interesting team. Um, 30 quid for the old instant buy, so that's not bad. Um, it's midweek, you know, obviously he's a young player. I don't know if he has any links with Brighton, etc. Um, a couple of decisives there, so he's alive, that's good. Does have a reasonable record that his last team as well has been picked up, so interesting. Getting some game time as well and playing against Roma and things, so has been playing, this could be quite useful for midweeks and everything with USG in Europe as well. Anyways, let's get on to these boxes. Um, current state of play in terms of essence, etc. So we'll go for the probably the least favoured stuff first and go for the super rare. So we are sitting at 16 actually, so um, that could be quite exciting if we um, manage to get something. Um, so we'll need four and we could do the craft so that could be a fun one to end the, the video five yes we're guaranteed a craft right you're gonna have to wait at the end because I'm gonna do the, the limited and the rare ones but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a craft why not lost the patience with a super rare I mean I know I said before I would want to wait and everything but yeah I've just lost patience with it like that's that's my honest answer. Like, I'm keeping the page two level ups. Could be quite useful actually. I'll probably use that to sort of beef up some of the Celtic guys, as if they don't have enough XP already. But um, and then one. So we're on twenty two. So that's good. On them um, limited, we're on three nine three. So more lineups out this weekend again. Um, hopefully get over that five hundred target at some point soon. Obviously, as the season goes on, well, two level ups still gonna help. <laughs> As the season goes on, um, the kind of effectiveness about the utility and everything changes a bit. Um, three level ups, so five level ups. Think of it, that means I've got eight level ups and limited to use. So, plus the Aston Villa guys getting boosted soon. And two, so we're in 395. I guess with Essence thing and with the division running, they don't run like pretty much along the lines of Europe or along the lines of the summer leagues or whatever they run all year round. And teams are mixed in. So I guess that's probably one of the reasons why so rare didn't put an expiry date on the essence and everything as well. Two rare level ups seems to be a level up now. Just <laughs> five star box, come on. Where'd you have a big one? Ten. That's not bad. Three seven three. There's lower than 10 in there, I think. No, I think you can win 3 and 4 and all that sort of stuff. So, 2, 3, 7, 5. So, that's got to be a wee bit more of a grind. I mean, I guess obviously it was given out too quickly at the start and, you know, so rare I've had to reduce it. So, we're not going to go over all that. 2 rare level ups. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really mind the level ups as much. I know everybody doesn't really think that's our reward. <laughs> What's the level up see is? Um, Maybe I just put them all on Mbappe and it'll become useful. Two. So up to three seven seven. So I'm gonna wait until we get up to um five hundred. So we've come that far, so and then we'll 
agree and we'll adjust the strategy. So we're going to do the super rare pool. I mean, obviously the tier four one, tier five is atrocious. I mean, mostly you can't sell them. Probably tier four as well, mostly. Can't really sell them even for the minimum bid. But, you know, you can still, you do still have a chance of getting um, the star here. So it's a 0.5% or 1.5% of a tier one or even a tier two super rare could be pretty good. Um anything tier three and above would be really good. Most likely just gonna be load of snash. But we'll craft and we'll end on that note. It's Friday night, we're having a bit of fun. Let's do a craft. It's no going back. I know that. Slide. Pumping essence. Definitely be the best pump I've had recently anyway. Moving on, review my cut. Oh, it's a one. I thought it was a one out of ten, it's not it's a three out of ten. That's not usually a good sign, so it means not had many mints, so probably like a backup or something. But... Janny Sarah. No idea who that is. Janny Sarah. We'll call him Janny the Fanny. That's a colloquial term in it's a colloquial term in Scotland for um for women's parts. So yeah, I shite. So but there we go. That's fine. It's okay, it's tier five, you're just having a pure gamble that you might win something good. So I guess even if I'd added all of it I mean I think when I did the one at like um tier two plus I think I got like who did I get? Really memorable guy that I just cannot remember. Anyways, he wasn't he, he was a good scorer. Zimmerman or something like that. He's a good scorer. Probably worth about two hundred quid, which isn't really um that good in the grand scheme of things for super rare, but yeah, there we go. Anyways, that's us. We'll be back before midweek and we'll have a preview for all international stuff. We've got cash comps and everything the internationals now. We've had our international break meltdown last week, so there's no need for any more meltdowns. So, everybody, let's go on with it. Let's enjoy it. I'll have this man flew away. I'll be feeling magic. Probably not tomorrow morning after the magic. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching again. Good luck and go fuck.